We are staying in one of the oldest hotels in Virginia City. We are at the Silver Queen Inn. She went by Rosie. She operated out of this hotel for years until she ultimately took her life in that very clawfoot bathtub. Rosie, but she just touched me. Did she? She did. It's tough. She does not like it being in there. Both, 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 oh, both. oh, it is. You can still see it moving on camera. Oh my god. Which of the ladies is setting off the REM pod? Which one? I watched it get pulled shut a little bit. Would you be able to step in front? guys welcome back to our channel if you're new here we're Mackie and Amanda I'm Mackie I'm Amanda and we're the spooky boots I'm gonna say it again so excited for today's location this isn't the main video we're filming while we're out in this state okay I had a whole thing worked out in my head and it's just gonna shit though it's a good bonus free okay. bullet it's a good bonus free okay. bullet I am so excited. We are staying in one of the oldest hotels in Virginia City. We are at the Silver Queen Inn. The Silver Queen Inn was constructed in 1876 and since then has seen a lot in her day. Being the oldest hotel in Virginia City, it has seen its fair share of tragedies from fires, deaths, and suicides even. Would that happen to have taken place in room 11? It did. Do we happen to be staying in room 11? We are. Did that happen to have happened in that bathtub that you refused to wash your hair in just about 15 <laughs> yes. minutes ago? I've heard of this story. We are staying in a little old lady of the night's room. She went by Rosie. She operated. She operated out of this hotel for years until she ultimately took her life in this very room, in that very clawfoot bathtub. The way she went, she unfortunately slit her wrists in that tub right there. So earlier when I had to do my hair, I was looking in that tub and I'm like, I'm gonna leave that for it's her. It's just not the place yes. to be doing that. We oh. thought we might try and come into her room, come into her hotel, see if she wanted to talk to us. Ever since then, there have been reports of the sound of high heels walking on wood floors, even though it's only carpets in this hotel. People have not only heard her voice, but they have seen apparitions of Rosie standing at the top of the staircase. The staircase is pretty ominous. Terrifying. Um, and then a little fun fact, I just love the fact that it's called Silver Queen Hotel. Did you happen to, in your research, see why it was called the Silver Queen? No, did it have something to do with mining though? Oh, what a good guess! What a, you're on a roll today! What? So the construction of this hotel is absolutely like nothing I've ever seen before. The freaking ceilings are over 12 feet high. Yeah, these have got to be like 22 foot ceilings. There is a 16 foot tall painting of a woman in a dress and the dress is made out of 3,000 261 silver pieces. The Silver Queen. Why, you ask? Not specifically. Why? Not that <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I'm curious. curious. Because that is the exact depth in feet of the deepest mine that was out here in Virginia City. And Virginia City was known for being a silver and gold hot spot in its minds. We're gonna have to go find that silver queen. Oh yeah, we are. And while we're at it, I say we try and find Rosie. Well, I say we get straight into it because this place creeps me out. <laughs> it's like a complete It is. Tell. I am like, so off kilter right now. Backstory. When I called to make the reservation, 
I booked a room and everything looked pretty similar to like the styles on the website. And she was like, do you want a specific room? And I was like, alright, well this is going to sound kind of funny, yeah. but um, I, I didn't know how much haunted history was embraced here. Uh -huh. I was like, this is going to sound kind of funny and like we're super into like the spirit side and she goes, so you want room 11? And I had no idea what had like happened in room 11, like 11 or the story of room 11. I just said, yeah, we do. And that's how we ended up here. Alright, I say we just get into it. Alright, let's go. Yeah. I think that if we were gonna set up a REM pod in any spot in this room. The bathtub? I wonder what type of stuff she likes though. Like her preferences. Oh. Um, probably. <gasps> She probably doesn't like men anymore. She prefers really? men. Really? Okay, I'm just sitting one. I just feel like. Alright. It falls moving. Oh, oh, it is! You can still see it moving on camera. It stopped and oh my god. Again. It stopped and started again. Can you do it again? Can you move a little more? Can you touch that ball again? Can you move that ball? It stopped and started again. I saw that. It didn't light up or anything the second time, but it definitely started moving again. Okay. Have you sensed anything in this hotel? No, and I think that's why I'm gonna start out by saying, Hello, my name's Samantha. I'm Mackie. This is my friend Mackie. Don't mind her. We are just some guests stopping by this hotel. I'm sure a lot of people, when you were a resident here, stopped by this hotel to see you for other reasons, but we just want to talk, have a conversation, and maybe ask and figure out you did pass away here, if there's any way we can help you or why you did what you did. So we've set up some devices around the room. We have on the bed, cat ball, I just feel like because of your work. <laughs> <gasps> on the bed. The bed is a good place that you might like to hang out, like to hang yeah. out. And then your infamous clawfoot bathtub. I'm asking your permission right now to set this REM pod. Yeah, I did. This device that allows you to communicate with us in an entirely different way than through me. If you have any objections, you can make one of our cat balls. Those devices that we just told you about, the one on the bed and one on the table, go off. I'll give you 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, there's the creaks. Are I know, they're wild. There's no objections. Put it right in the middle. Okay, maybe that's just calibrating. Oh yeah, the distance is two. Okay, that's range. All right, perfect. Okay, hey, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, did she just touch me? Did she? She did. Rosie, if you could step away from that rug pod. It's tough. She does not like it being in there. She's really? Like, she's very upset. To the point where um, I almost feel like we should... Do you have that device on your phone? Yeah. Let's pull it out. To the point where I almost feel like maybe we should take it out. But I'm more so... If, you'll, if you're willing to stop doing that, and have a conversation with us about why you don't want it there. You know what, I'll take it out and then we can talk about it. That was crazy. That was crazy. I'll talk about it first. All right, so should I start the spirit talker? I think, yeah. Okay. So you guys might have seen us use this app before. This is called the spirit talker. It's the only phone spirit device that I've seen that I feel like truly works. 
I've actually said the same thing at the same time as this on more than one occasion. So I wholeheartedly believe in it. Like it was proven to me even though I didn't believe in it. So if you guys are interested in any apps, this is not sponsored, no. but. <laughs> so Rosemary. Rosemary. Oh, what's, Rosalie? Rosie. What's her name though? Rosie. Is that it? Yeah. Why? Are you picking up something else? Like Rosalie. Really? Yeah. Julia. Ooh, something just touched my ankle. Wait. Julia. That's weird because you're like picking up a different form of that name and it came through with a different name. So. Wait, what do you mean? Like. She went by Rosie, but you were like calling her a different name. Then this came through with the name. So maybe like in a weird twisted sense, like you were picking up on the fact that Rosie wasn't actually Isn't her real name. name. I was thinking and that exact she same said thing. Julia is. Julia's her name. Is that is I wish you had another did you hear that whisper? Yeah. Is her name? Is that is is your real name? She tugged on my Can shirt. Can you play music? Do you Can want you play music? A music box. Oh, K2. Oh, oh, we know my phone. Oh. <laughs> yes, um, Ro Julie, we can play music. Rosie, we can play music. We would love if you're able to in any way confirm if that really is your name and if you would prefer us to be calling you Julie, you can Julia. make- where should I set this? Facing that room. Like right over here. Yeah, so we have conjoined rooms. Like we said it I think it's some of the only conjoined almost. rooms. Almost. 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 We're almost there. We're almost sitting at the music. Alright, there's music. So we can't continue to play the music, but you can by walking in and out of this door. Can you see this door in front of us? If you walk in and out of that door, that music box should pick up your movement and play a song. Mackie will show you. She'll put her so little- So if you just step in front of it, it'll play music like that. And you can stand in front of it and have the music- Tell me your name. My name's Mackie. My name is Amanda. Would you be able to step in front? Amanda, did you see the door open? No, oh my God. Hello? Hello? We asked her to walk through. I watched it get pulled shut a little bit. Can you push it open maybe? He killed. They said that there were murders in this hotel. He killed. He killed. Okay, wait. So, so what if the door is open? <laughs> Why didn't we hardly react to that? I don't know. This whole hotel kind of feels like a daze, like it a does. dream. Um, I mean, I feel like we need to pay more attention to this woman, Julie. What if okay. Julie was murdered here? Okay. I'm trying to figure out if Julie and Rose are two different people, or what if she didn't slip her wrists? Like she was murdered? Yeah, or what if somebody made her do it? Can like, you give us any type of confirmation if we're on the right track with any of this? There's a group of there's us. There's a group of us. Answering to Julie and Rosie are the same person. No, it's a group of them. Um... <laughs> 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 Rosie can't remember that camera. So there is a group. Okay, that's exactly what I was feeling was that there's multiple people because I felt one person tied on my shirt, somebody tapped my ankle, um, and I feel like Rose is no doubt here, 100%. I still wonder if Julie and Rose was, like, Rosie is an alias for her. Yeah. And her name really was Julie. Um, day. Day. Maybe, oh, maybe one was her day name and then oh. she went by at night. Oh my god, this is crazy. Like, this is literally her. She was the lady of the night. It's what they called her. Is that true? And if so, would you prefer us to call you by your name or your nickname? Can you tell us how many people are here? I keep getting different numbers. I hear seven, eight, really? twelve. It's almost like there are constantly people coming in. 
I'm a child. And people going out. I wonder if the child's the one who's been tugging. And oh, yeah. That's one of the reports. That's one of the oh, reports here. You're right. The child who tugs on shirts and tries to get your attention. I don't feel like it's a child. You don't? Oh my god. Do you think it's only pretending to be a child? Yeah, I do. Not anything negative, but more of a trickster. Um, and like I just want to let you know that you didn't trick me, you didn't trick Mackie. We know you're not really a child. I'm super curious of what you have to say to that. Because I don't think that you're stoked, I know. Because I don't think, because I don't think that you're stoked, I know so much about what's going on on that other side. I think that you like to take advantage of people, that you like to toy with emotions and people while they're vulnerable. Is that true? I think especially. I like it here. Since especially with people here. I like it here. So I'm right, you do, you stay here to kind of not torment, but harass and bother people here. We'll hear. We'll hear. Should we turn the REM pod back on? Despite red or orange or one. When I said REM pod? One, yeah, one of the yellow, one of these two. Or three, like one on that side. Do you want me to turn the REM pod back on? Do you want to communicate with us through other ways? Do you want to communicate with us? Marie. Marie? That's the third name. It's all women. Marie. Hold on, I need to grab another battery. It's like draining so fast. Bathroom, Marie, Julie, Rosie, and there's multiple of us. So there's multiple of them. Yeah. Like maybe there's just multiple women. He, he killed me, huh? I, what does this man have to do? This man knows all three of them. I'm 100% positive that these women knew each other. How, how did you guys know each other or how did you know this man? Okay, the second so, we changed out the battery, it came up and said one man here. So obviously you heard the last thing I said was like, yes. how do you how do you all know each other? How are you all connected? What like they all knew the same person? I said that. You said that, that is why I believe in this spirit talker more than anything else. One man here. What's this man's okay. name? Connor? Conrad? Conrad? I feel like Conrad is something from that day. Well, I'm just looking at the battery and just talking about that. I feel this is a super weird word to use about the door just moved behind you. Which Did you door? touch it? The bathroom door. The bathroom door. No, I didn't touch it. This is a really weird word to say. I almost feel like the women here right now feel empowered. It's fight. It's fight. Katie, another woman. That's the fifth woman. Katie like the doll, which makes me think of her. It reeks over here. It smells really bad. What was this man's name, you guys? Was he a minor? Was he a minor? Was he a minor? I feel like he was high up in the, not the community but the town. Really? He had a lot of pull. Concern. There was a lot of look at me right now. I'm not even gonna like change what I'm doing. I'm like I look concerned. Yeah, you not. do. Like I was like so when I'm like nervous, there's like a couple of things that I do, like pick my nails, or uh -huh. like just like habits that people have, like if they're nervous or concerned about something that they do. And like, that's literally what I was doing when I was trying to pick up, like this man was prominent in the town. And I almost feel like that not that his secret couldn't get out, but that like his wife was almost embarrassed. He was coming here and it was known that he was coming here and these women were supposed to keep quiet and confidential about it. I don't know, that's I'm where I am right now. Chief, Conrad, chief. chief. So maybe Conrad is, it's more of a title, chief, high up, Conrad would be, I don't know. I feel like the next thing that comes through here is gonna be super important. These women are trying to get something across. All of a sudden they've been hushed. What do you guys have to say? What are you guys trying to get across to us? Oh my God. Love. I'm gonna turn the REM pod back on. Okay. Are you okay with us putting putting this REM pod back in the bathtub? It seemed like you were pretty upset earlier and we said that we would turn this on and ask you why. It's going on again. Can you hear it? 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 Can
Can you make that stop? Which of the ladies is setting off the REM pod? Ritual. 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 Can you make that stop? Can you step away from the REM pod? Alright ladies, we need to go, but we'll come back. Will you be here when we come back? Can you make that stop? If you'll be here? They're not gonna make it stop. They're gonna grab it. They're gonna grab it. Grab that device. Grab that antenna. Can we go yellow? I also feel like they don't like me telling them what to do. Like, I'm not trying to give you demands or be bossy. Sorry if it came across that way. Can you maybe go yellow, blue, or purple? Amazing. 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 I wonder if they think this is amazing. <laughs> this light. And that's why they won't step away. Okay, can you step away? We'll give you five seconds to make it stop where we are. We'll bring it back out. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. I keep hearing hero. Hero? Hero. Oh, prisoner. Prisoner? Okay, that's like literally the exact opposite, yeah. so that's very odd. Someone just touched my butt. What is going on? Why are they touching you? Constantly, and it's not like to the point where I'm like, don't touch me. Like you uh -huh. feel comfortable, but it's definitely like, ooh, it's so weird. You know, I think there's a lot of people starting to come through, and we have like, we need to, <gasps> it's spiking. We need to narrow it back down to the women if we want to have any okay. conversation. Cancer. Did you have cancer? No. I feel like cancer is more of like, they said that to describe what, specifically what cancer is, like something toxic, like growing that like eventually kills you, you know, sometimes yeah. it starts small sometimes. That's what I feel like. Okay. Which is weird. Okay, we just turned the camera off for literally like a minute and this just said we're not at peace and the music box went off. This place is insane. Let's find the Silver Queen. Do you think she's over there? I don't see her. Oh my God. This is terrifying. Wait, who's that? Sorry. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Do you think the picture of her is still here? I don't know. It could be in the bar also. Oh, true. Okay, it is so cold. Let's walk up her uh, windy stairs. Okay. Okay, what were you gonna say? When I was like 10, I got my head stuck in a banister. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Like, what even is that? Okay, don't look down. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Wait, why is that? Is that completely dark? I don't know. I actually thought it was a mirror. <sighs> this is so creepy. It's, it's, it's hard to breathe. This room's must not be in use. They better not. They better not. Oh, they better not. Oh. Did you hear a woman Yes. I definitely heard a woman. Okay, I'm turning this on. That's a kid. Do you remember how that thing said I'm a child? Yes. She's the girl on the stairs. Like, this. How is this a hotel? I don't know. I want to 
know what's in the woman cave. It was locked. Like, that's so weird. It used to be a room, 23. That's so weird. Right. <clears throat> it sounded like someone was walking down behind us. Did you hear that? No. It sounded like extra footsteps. So this is actually where the video wraps up. Like we said in the beginning, this wasn't the main video we were filming that night. But since we were in Virginia City, we were dying to check out this hotel and we figured this could be a good little teaser video for Spooktober next week. So that is why it's not a full length investigation and it cuts because we then had to go to the main location we were filming at that night. And that investigation is hands down one of the craziest we have ever done. Spooktober starts October 1st. There will be three videos every week, totaling 13 videos in October, plus a bonus video. So we hope you guys enjoyed this little Spooktober teaser. October 1st, see you all there.